darling, let me weave you a tale of fashion and all things fabulous. Inspired by the iconic and voluptuous Christina Hendricks, prepare to indulge in a narrative filled with style, wit, and a dash of playfulness. Now, let's embark on this fashion-centric adventure. Picture this, my loves. A world where every woman radiates confidence, strutting down the streets with a fabulous strut inherited from none other than Christina Hendricks herself. With her curves as alluring as a siren's call, she effortlessly captivates the fashion world and leaves a trail of awestruck admirers wherever she goes. In our first episode of Christina Hendricks' Fashion Stories, we explore the art of dressing to flatter those fabulous assets. Ah, the eternal struggle of finding outfits that highlight our every curve and accentuate our undeniable beauty. Fear not, for Christina is here to guide us down the runway of fashion success. Imagine stepping into a boutique, the air thick with anticipation, as if you've stumbled upon a magical treasure trove of the shishest garments known to humankind. Driven by the desire to embrace your curves with panache, you immediately gravitate towards a stunning red dress, reminiscent of Christina's iconic Mad Men days. Its plunging neckline, designed to showcase your décolletage, is a daring invitation to embrace your unabashed femininity. But wait, my dears, before you slip into the crimson embrace of this dress, Christina imparts her fashion wisdom with a cheeky smile. She reminds us that confidence is the key, the accessory that completes every outfit. With a wink and a nod, she challenges us to step up, channel our inner vixens, and rock that dress like we were born to wear it. As we continue our journey through the whimsical realm of fashion, inspired by Christina Hendricks herself, we stumble upon a vibrant bouquet of colors and patterns. It's a kaleidoscope of fabrics, each one eager to tell its own story. We pause and admire a tantalizing floral print, exploding with rich hues that mirror Christina's fiery personality. Enveloped in this stunning floral creation, you feel like a walking canvas of art. Around you, the world transforms into a surreal fashion extravaganza, as if you've wandered into the mysterious realm of designer dreams. Christina whispers in your ear, reminding you to embrace the unexpected, to be audacious in your choices. With her words in mind, you dare to pair that floral masterpiece with unexpected accessories, like an oversized floppy hat or a statement necklace dripping in crystalline extravagance. The result? A concoction of style and sass, drawing eyes wherever you roam. My darlings, these fashion stories would be incomplete without a nod to the glamorous world of evening wear. Close your eyes and envision yourself entering an opulent gala, surrounded by dazzling lights and the murmurs of high-class society. As if choreographed by the gods of fashion themselves, all eyes turn towards you as you saunter in, emanating an aura of timeless elegance. Your dress, handpicked by Christina Hendricks herself, cascades around your form like liquid silk, hugging your curves in all the right places. The shade? A deep midnight blue that makes you feel like the embodiment of a starlit sky. With its strategic draping, this gown is a masterpiece in motion, accentuating your womanly curves in the most phenomenal of ways. 
with every step, you channel your inner Christina, embodying grace and confidence. Heads turn, whispers flutter through the air. You are the epitome of beauty and glamour. As we bid adieu to these Christina Hendricks fashion stories, let us remember the words of wisdom from our vivacious muse herself. Fashion is not solely about the garments we wear, but rather the stories we tell and the way we embrace our own unique beauty. So, my darlings, go forth with a twinkle in your eye and a strut in your step, knowing that you possess the power to captivate the world, just like Christina Hendricks. Embrace every curve, every color, and every ounce of your inherent fabulousness. And remember, fashion is your playground to explore, experiment, and ultimately express your own extraordinary self. Welcome, darlings, to another fabulous installment of my fashion adventures. Today, I shall regale you with a tale that's sure to captivate your fashion-loving souls. So sit back, relax, and prepare for an epic journey into the thrilling world of style and glamour. Picture this, my dears. A crisp morning in the heart of Fashion Central. As I sashayed down the bustling streets, heads turned, eyes widened, and hearts skipped a beat. It's like I had my own gravitational pull, drawing attention from every corner. Oh, the power of a curvaceous goddess. Now, on this particular day, I had a mission. A hunt for the perfect dress that would make the fashion gods weep tears of joy. With visions of silk and sequins dancing in my head, I stepped into the finest boutique in town. The anticipation was palpable. As I perused the racks, it was clear that this place was no ordinary shop. It was a treasure trove of fashion gems, waiting to be discovered by someone as fabulous as me. The attentive staff fluttered around me, offering assistance, their eyes gleaming with excitement. Clearly, they understood the magnitude of this moment. After what seemed like an eternity of trying on one dazzling creation after another, I finally found it, the dress. As I slipped into its embrace, my reflection in the mirror gave me a knowing wink. It was a divine match, a celestial union of fabric and curves. I had struck gold. Now, let's fast forward to the grand soiree where I would unveil my sartorial triumph. The venue was opulent, filled to the brim with the creme de la creme of the fashion world. All eyes were on me, and why wouldn't they be? After all, I was a vision of elegance, exuding confidence with every step. As I swirled onto the dance floor, heads turned and jaws dropped. The dress clung to my voluptuous figure, accentuating every curve in the most tantalizing way. It was as if the fabric itself had been tailor-made by fashion deities specifically for me. And oh, the envy I inspired. Now, my darlings, I cannot divulge all the juicy details of this mesmerizing affair. The secrets of that night shall forever be whispered among the fashion elite. But rest assured, my friends, that my presence was legendary, leaving a lasting impression on the hearts and minds of all fortunate enough to witness it. Oh, darling. Prepare yourself for a sensational spectacle as I, 
the one and only Christina Hendricks, grace you with tales from the fashion front lines. Sit back, relax, and let me spin a web of words, weaving a story that will leave you both entertained and in stitches. In this third episode of our glamorous fashion escapades, I shall regale you with my never-ending adventures in the land of style and couture. Picture this. I enter a grand Parisian fashion show, the air heavy with anticipation, the room adorned with elegant chandeliers, casting a mesmerizing glow on the oh-so-chic attendees. As I stroll on that divine runway, my curves defying gravity in the most delightful way, I can't help but notice a peculiar sight. A towering hat that could rival the Eiffel Tower in height. My dear, it was a masterpiece of millinery madness. Curiosity gets the best of me, naturally. I approach the daring designer responsible for this architectural headpiece, or as I like to call them, hat I teched. With a twinkle in my eye, I ask, Darling, how does one maneuver through doorways when wearing this extraordinary creation? With a chuckle, the hat I teched explains that this fabulous contraption requires a person of confidence and a certain penchant for gymnastics. They even demonstrate a graceful somersault, their lofty hat remaining steadfast atop their head. It was a sight to behold, indeed. As I meander through the labyrinth of glimmering gowns and whisper soft fabrics, I stumble upon a rack of dresses that could make the gods weep with envy. I delicately finger the delicate lace, feeling its intricate patterns dance beneath my fingertips. Ah, the artistry of fashion. Suddenly, a vision in plaid catches my discerning eye. It is a dress so fetching, so utterly bold, that it beckons me closer. As if possessed by a mischievous spirit, I find myself slipping into its snug embrace, my figure accentuated in ways only this daring garment can achieve. I twirl in front of the mirror, my fiery red hair cascading around me like a tempestuous waterfall. My reflection peeks mischievously back at me, winking as if to say, Darling, you were born to wear this dress in this fashion-filled fairy tale. Even accessories have their say. Oh, how a simple scarf transformed into a flamboyant flamingo, twirling and swirling around my neck with a whimsical grace. It must have whispered secrets of faraway lands, for my spirit soared, and my walk became an elegant sachet. Before bidding adieu to the glittering fashion paradise, I stumble upon a pair of shoes that defy both gravity and practicality. They boast towering heels that rival the height of the Empire State Building, leaving me both awe-inspired and slightly terrified. Determined not to pass up an opportunity for sartorial greatness, I slip my dainty feet into these sky-high wonders. As I teeter on the precipice of a potential stumble, I can't help but admire the sheer audacity of these shoes. Fashion, my dear, has a way of making us brave. And with that, our third episode of Christina Hendricks' Fashion Stories comes to a close. But fret not, my darling readers, for there are countless more adventures awaiting us in the realm of fashion and style. Until next time, keep your hearts open, your heels high, and your fashion choices outrageously fabulous.
darlings, gather round as I regale you with a tantalizing tale from the world of busty fashion, featuring yours truly, the ever-stylish Christina Hendricks. Grab your feather boas and prepare to be entertained, because this is the fourth episode of my fashion chronicles, filled with glamour, misadventures, and of course, an abundance of curves. Now, picture this. I found myself on the bustling streets of New York City, a modern-day fashion warrior in search of the perfect ensemble. As I sashayed from one designer boutique to another, the paparazzi hot on my trail, I realized that finding the right garments to accentuate my fabulous figure was no easy task. But fear not, my dear readers, for I was not about to surrender to sartorial defeat. As I entered the first shop, a sea of extravagant fabrics stretched out before me. Determined to strike a pose, I selected a stunning red ensemble that just screamed, Christina. Alas, as I tried it on, my ample bosom threatened to burst forth like a glorious fireworks display. Oh, the perils of being a curvaceous fashion icon. Undeterred by this minor setback, I strutted my way into the next boutique, head held high. This time, I was on a mission to conquer the world of prints. With my signature confidence, I chose a playful polka dot dress, envisioning it as a canvas for my vivacious personality. Alas, dear readers, the dots didn't quite know how to handle my voluptuousness and ended up playing a game of hide-and-seek on my curves. We all know I'm not one to be hidden. The third store proved to be a wild ride indeed. Recklessly, I ventured into the land of stripes. Determined to defy convention, I went for a bold, striped jumpsuit that dared to embrace my hourglass figure. But oh, the stripes dared to play tricks on me, dear readers. They twisted and turned, creating an optical illusion that was more dizzying than a roller coaster ride. Needless to say, that outfit was swiftly abandoned. Just when I thought my fashion quest might end in defeat, a burst of divine inspiration struck me. I decided to channel the sexy bombshell within and embrace a timeless classic the little black dress. This iconic garment, like a trusty knight in shining armor, would surely rescue me from my curvaceous conundrums. With renewed determination, I ventured into the final boutique. As I slipped into that little black dress, a hush fell over the room. The fabric caressed my curves like a gentle lover, accentuating all the right places. The dress clung to me like a second skin revealing just enough to leave the onlookers craving for more. I had found my sartorial soulmate at last. So, my dearest readers, let this be a lesson that even in the glamorous world of fashion, where hips don't lie and curves reign supreme, there is a garment for everybody. Embrace your unique features, celebrate your assets, and always remember that style is an extension of your vibrant personality. Until our next fashionable adventure, stay fabulous. Hey there, my fabulous fashionistas. It's time for another juicy installment of my fashion stories. Get ready to buckle up and prepare for some fashion fun because this is the fifth episode you won't want to miss. Now, I know you're all eagerly awaiting my sassy tales of style and glamour, but let me remind you, this essay is no masterpiece. However, I will do my best to sprinkle some Christina Hendricks magic into it and make it worth your while. So, Let's dive right in, shall we? 
Picture this, a fashion show frenzy, a whirlwind of excitement, and of course, yours truly stealing the spotlight. Oh, the glamour. I was strutting my stuff on that runway like nobody's business, turning heads with every step and causing a fashion quake in my wake. But here's where things get interesting. As I sashayed my curvaceous self down the catwalk, disaster struck. One of my insanely high heels decided to betray me and go rogue, sending me teetering off balance. Oh, the horror. My heart raced faster than Usain Bolt, and I was desperately trying to regain my composure. In true Christina fashion, I didn't let this little mishap ruin my moment. No siree. I managed to gracefully recover, turning my fumble into a flirty little dance move. The crowd erupted in applause and laughter, and there I stood, victorious in my triumph over the treacherous heel. But wait, there's more. Just when I thought the fashion gods were done toying with me, my dress had a mind of its own. Mid-stride, it decided to unleash its rebellious side, displaying a little more of my décolletage than intended. My girls were making a surprise appearance, much to the shock and delight of the audience. Talk about stealing the show. <laughs>